No doubt about it. You deserve respect. But you got to stop settling for lies, betrayal, and neglect. It all starts with you, though. Because if you're walking around and giving off this spirit of lacking self-esteem, giving off this vibe of not having self-confidence, no self-pride, no self-worth, people can see that. They can smell it and they prey on it. Whether it's in relationships, whether it's in a business, whether it's at your job, whether it's with your family, whether it's with your friends. If you don't respect yourself, I promise you, nobody else is going to respect you. And you're going to be out here looking for somebody to give you pity, to give you a handout of respect. No, no, you deserve respect. But for you to get that respect, you got to demand it. You got to stand up tall. You got to walk with your head up high. Everything can change right now. I promise you, if you make the choice, if you make the decision to say enough is enough, and in that relationship, when that person keeps coming to you wrong, and you finally say, no, you're going to stop talking to me like that right now. You're going to stop treating me like that right now because I'm better than that. I'm a human being just like you, and you ain't no better than me. You're not a god. And for way too long, I've been worshiping you and I've been giving you every ounce of me and you're not giving me any of you. You've been treating me like dirt. You've been treating me like trash and that stops right now because I deserve respect. Wasn't that Aretha Franklin that said R-E-S-P-E-C-T? You can spell it right out to him. You can spell it right out to her. Let your actions speak louder than your words. I promise when they start seeing you move different, it changes the entire energy, the entire makeup of the relationship. You have that power. Because if you're in a relationship and you're totally respecting this person and that person is not reciprocating and respecting you back, then you actually have nothing. You deserve respect. So it's time for you, this very moment, to start demanding it in your relationships. If you're working on a job and you've been given everything you have, and you don't feel like it's being reciprocated. It's time to have a conversation. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. And I don't mean you have to do anything that's crazy and disrespectful and get yourself in a situation where you might get fired or let go. But you can speak up for yourself in a direct tone and make sure that your boss, make sure that your manager, make sure that they respect you and know that you stand for something. Because I promise you, people will walk all over you and not even think twice about it. If you're the path to least resistance, that's where all the drama's gonna come. That's where all the negative energy's gonna come. That's where all of the BS is gonna come. So I need you to make sure you carry yourself in a manner that makes and forces people to respect you because you deserve it. So respect yourself and others will respect you. And if they don't, you do not have to tolerate their lack of respect, their disrespect. Here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to give the gift of your absence to those who do not appreciate your presence. Let me say that one again as a bar. I need you to give the gift of your absence to those who do not appreciate your presence. For far too long, it's been all about them been a doormat you know my saying if you're gonna be a doormat get welcome tattooed on your forehead we're done you deserve respect and it's time for you to start walking as if you are the most respected person on this planet today turn your confidence level up turn your self-worthy level up turn your self-esteem level up and once you do you'll find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. You deserve respect. So now it's time for you to pick yourself up and go snatch it. This is a great day to win. Let's go.